there's a big push nationally to get students involved in writing code for applications and code for computers. The website is um, Scratch and it's something that they sent me whenever they first sent me information about the Hour of Code. A while back Google had been trying to create it and I'm not sure how they got in collaboration with MIT but I know they eventually did and it's through MIT's page. It dances. Yes, it does. There's a dinosaur. And that's a little hard to understand at first, but now it's easy. Yeah, and you can change the setting if you press the space button. And I go to forever, press space, and they spin. I just experimented with it. You have fun while doing it. Oh my god, it's a football player! My students have had computers all semester long, so they're kind of in the routine of using computers, and the health students aren't in it yet. So they were in there to help the health teachers who were gracious enough to participate. It will do whatever that says. Because then now you have to go back to the events and you need the command for that. Now do you guys want sound? And then whenever you're done, like as it, if the, the video shows you basically what to do, so you just follow what the video does. So then now that you're done with that, you click the next one, and then you keep repeating how to do it. Uh, eventually, if they continued with us, they could use what they've created and it could become a for real app that they could use on their Android based phone or a tablet. Uh, we use the Scratch website for programming. Well, it's a little video and the lady sort of dances a little bit and then it has drums and stuff in the background. We built a cat and a, pup and a puppy dog. The cat uh, it, um, walks around for 10 seconds, like walks four to 10 seconds, then the dog uh, glides for a couple of seconds. And we're still like, working on it. Um, it's a really nice software that they're using and a lot of the students are real interested and I gave them permission um, all of the things they need to be able to do it at home. They benefit because especially if they continue they can use these apps to help them study for other classes. It just helps them get interested in computers. The more you're interested in things the more it's going to help you want to stay involved in school and all of that.